Hey everyone, Willem here. Today for Is This Game Any Good, we're playing Stellaris. I freaking love this space strategy game. It's so good. Uh, I will just load my the save I'm playing on right now, because this game takes a long time to start, and I don't think I would be able to show enough if we were to make a new game. But I am going to show you the races and what they do, basically. As you can see with these, there's a bunch of pre-made races, but do not worry, making your own race has no real negative uh, repercussions. Not really. Uh, you get to choose, everyone gets you know difference between one of three weapons, one of three ways to travel, you know, and yeah, you have exactly the same amount of points, so just make your own and do exactly what you want. That's what I did. So, for example, let's go through different kind of weapons. You have mass drivers, projectile weapons, nuclear missiles, missiles weapons, and lasers. Again, laser weapons. <laughs> uh, it's kind of obvious, right? But then you got warp travel, which is a little bit, a little bit more complicated. You got warp. No, no, faster and light travel. You got warp travel, which is very straightforward. You go between systems. That's it. It's very simple, and it is generally one of the better ways of doing it, because you're always going to be somewhat quick about it. It's not really the best, though. It's not the fastest, but overall, I would say it's the better. Then we got hyperspace travel, which is really fast and really cheap. Warp travel is kind of expensive, but hyperspace is cheap, it's fast, but you're bound to hyperspace lanes. You cannot, you know, go between every single planet like you can with warp, which I will be showing you guys when I'm loading my save. Hyperspace, you actually have lines in between every single system you have to travel with. So, yeah. Chances are, it's going, it might take, in the beginning it's going to be really fast, but... It might take you a little while to get to some places if the la if the lanes aren't very helpful that day. <laughs> and then you got wormhole trouble. I am, you know, uh, wormhole generators tunnel through subspace and establish a conduit between two points, permitting travel across wide vast distances. The large generators are too big to be fitted on ships, requiring a special wormhole station to operate. This means that you can make wormholes between places. This is the fastest, and it's not that expensive, but you have the issue about, uh, <laughs> you know, I think if you want to go make a wormhole into an unknown space, you have to make charge it up and then make it, which might take a little bit of time depending on the ships, and other ships, but if you have like two stations connected, I think it's instantaneous. So this is the fastest, somewhat. I haven't actually tested it though. I'm just, if it's wrong, blame Wikipedia, <laughs> basically. I can show you how to, you know, here, you have a very decent amount of stuff, you know, appearance, you know, if you want to be one of the alien, more alien-looking species, you know, you have reptilian, avian, anthropods, mollusks, fungus, or fungi, you know, really fungi. You know, you name, traits, you have different points. Every single pre-made and your own made races have this, you know. So, that's why I'm saying that it's not necessarily a negative thing to just take from here. But you mu you can also see here that there's negative traits, which could actually give you points to give get more expensive stuff. Let's say you want very strong or something like that. You have to take like a bunch of random shit. But let's just go back and actually play the game. And once you actually go into this, if you played some older games, you might notice a couple of things. First of all, it looks really good. I I think it's like six gigabytes. So yeah, well of course, <laughs> when you when it is a, a based on this and not really really high graphics, it's understandable. 
But what you basically do, you have like this constructor ship, I'll just show you this one. It's making a mining station, so I'm mining this asteroid, just to get more minerals up here. But you can also get minerals from surface working, for example, like with mineral deposits when you make a mine. This one is a completely new one, and you can see as yeah, some of these have like different amounts of shit on it. But now comes to this. To be honest, this kind of when I first looked on the map and such, it kind of reminded me of Imperium Galactica 2. Kinda, not entirely, but kinda. It's not really all that Imperium Galactica, you could say. It's just that it kind of gives me the feel of that. You know, I will also show you some fighting right now, as I have this uh, fleet of corvettes that are, that are just running around killing shit. You know, I have my corvette fleet here, my, stand, my attack special fleet. Ooh, a special project. Excellent. Ah, it's done. Influence gained. And actually with that, I'll just put this guy on hold a little bit. I don't want to lose time. Uh, one of the things, you space is for pausing. And you will want to pause whenever you're not doing something. Because time is really important here. I mean, really important. Now go there. You can just start... Uh, uh, all of these are enemies. So it's kind of like, god dang it. <laughs> it annoys me how many freaking enemies are around. There, there, and explore, or survey. If it finds an enemy over there, it will just retreat, but... Also, you might be wondering what this green blob is. Well, it's an ally. I uh, found an... Um, I think it was pre-Space Age civilization, and built a station about an observation station. And then I basically just went like, Hey guys, have technology. Join me in the space age. You know, and I was basically just like, yep, join me in space. And they were like, after thinking you like a bunch of years, they're joining me in space age. And they are under me. You know, they're my um, protectorate, I think they call it. They basically gain a lot of research uh, by being under my protectorate. And after... What is it? What is that? About 10 years? After about 10 years in-game, they can you can actually integrate them into your empire. Which basically, I think that will mean that you get... They basically just join you and you gain control of them. Completely control. There! And here's my Corvette fleet. They are all the same ship. Mostly... And they, there's still some upgrades for them. But yeah, the, these are the lowest out of four ship designs. I think there is about four designs. There might be like a few more. But, well, basically there's corvettes. I uh, forget the other one. Cruisers and... No, corvettes, destroyers, cruisers, battleships. They all cost more and more naval... You can see up here naval capacity. They cost more and more naval capacity. But with bigger ships comes bigger shields and bigger armor. Which, you know, as you can see, armor is inside here. Bigger ship means a lot more upgrade points here. The damage might be the same, but having one ship with an armor you know, resistance of like 20, 30, 40 and shields like the same as their hull points, instead of multiple smaller ships, is probably going to be advantages. Advantageous? Ah, uh, dead. Yeah, he kinda didn't stand a chance to begin with. And also, as you can s just saw, I sent this science ship. I sent a science ship down here. To research this. Situation log updated. Because if I research that, I will actually very possibly get some tech. Ugh, I'm gonna regret this, but 
I am going to go down there and fight the elites. Oh god, I don't want to do that, but oof, I might lose my entire fleet. I will, but the uh, heck, that's going to show you all uh, just my ships dying. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. Oh, yes, it's finally in. No, not entirely. Dang it. It's blue up there, which usually means that it's mine. But the game just released. There are still a couple of bugs. Oh, also, you can see up here uh, debris analyzed. Some tech got 20% more, and some tech got 10% more. Yeah, oh, it's just inside my territory. But at the same time, it's not inside my territory at all. Which kind of sucks, because I really wanted that. I mean, I really wanted that one. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's build a research lab up here. Mm. I want power more than I want minerals at the moment. As you can see, my power is plus three. The more things you build, the more power you drain. So you might want to be a little bit careful with that. Ooh, I can actually upgrade this when I have the money for it. Uh, up. This is basically one of my newest colony worlds, in you know, this one. This one is the next to newest, and I can upgrade my ship, you know, this is the command center of the planet is currently a ship shelter, but I can upgrade into planetary administration or whatever. Uh, same as I'm, this is a planetary administration, but I'm upgrading it into an um, planetary capital. As you can see here, these guys give mineral food and energy credits to the, ne the people next to it. And thanks to that, the, you know, with an upgrade, it will be two instead. Meaning that it will get like two more energy, two more mineral, two more food. Because this one gets one more mineral, one more food. And I think it has a few more bo modifiers to it as well. Research and the, complete. the blue fleet you see right here is my... Allies fleet. Ooh, what research did I get? Eco simulation. That was ooh hydroponics farm level two. Uh, farming the edic. Ooh yes, just uh, some more research that I do love. You know these are. I think this was rare. No, might be rare. I don't know. Uh, this is basically just stuff I've been getting from uh, you know scanning debris. But I actually kind of want this. I'm r I am running low on leaders. As in, I have you know, one open science ship right here from beyond. I have no clue what's going to happen with it. Because it, it, it was a random event with extra dimensional stuff. And it came back. And they're like, hey, can we join you guys again? I'm just like, oh god. I've seen this so many times. I think actually one of the chat options were was actually no uh, for uh, for the safety of the future of mankind. We have to kill them. I'm like, well, in other words, not exactly a good thing. Also, yes, this is a freaking black hole, and your ships can fly straight through it. On this planet over here is Lucy. Also, black holes. I'm pretty certain aren't that big. If it was this big, I am somewhat certain that nearby solar s okay, no, not maybe not nearby solar systems, just light years between. At least this planet will be completely decimated, and if anything were to get come in closer than I would at least say out here, it will probably die. Nope. In this game, you can actually fly straight up to an uh, wormhole and just go like, yo. Oof, yeah, these guys are pretty strong. Not to forget, they're all camping on top of the freaking star. I just saved though, I think. Right? I did just save. Yeah, I did. Okay, from now on, I'm <laughs> nothing I do will matter. Oh yeah, as you can see here, the science vessel came in here. And then it saw like the mining vessels and shit down here. It's like, oh shit, enemies, run away! Yeah, they're cowards. I might win this fight, actually. You can see, you can see down here like how the battle is going. I'm evading like crazy. <laughs> I have a pretty good evade rate on this, guys. Oh god, look at their hull points. 
going down quick though. I lost four ships at the moment. Ouch. Oh, I'm taking so much damage, but I'm dealing way more than uh, they are. Oh, I might win this. I'm probably going to win this, but I lost six ships so far. Oh. Oh. I lost seven ships. Oh. Well, seven ships. Lost seven ships. No, uh, eight ships. Not too bad, I suppose. I'm probably going to get blue. Blue or yellow or something like that. Projectile weapons from them. I have their other projectile weapons right here. Green shard, for example. You can see the damage modifiers down there. Uh, it has a DPS of 1.63, while the red one has a DPS of 2.15. So, yeah, getting the higher ones, I think the only way to actually get them is by killing a, at least a few of these with these guys. At least a few. <laughs> Okay, let's continue our quest and just... I haven't fought these guys yet. So hey, let's go and murder ourselves in this black hole. Oof. I, I'm, I'm just looking at that name, Abyssal Host and Chasmal Horde. I'm just like, god damn, that's... That, ooh, run away, run away! <laughs> as I, I'm gonna load my previous day at more as it is. Again, keep researching, researching... Here's the thing, as you can see up here, these are the more permanent warnings. They'll tell you like, yeah, you need to do this. But the only way to get that same thing with science is letting the science time run out and it go like, goes like, warning, you have forgotten to do a science. And you're like, ah, oh, fuck, how long did I forget that this time? <laughs> Yeah, it's happened to me a few times. Uh, you can also place military stations, as I show you down here. Military stations. It it's the thing that has this blue aura, aura. It stops, or it kind of stops people from jumping in here, as it f attracts them. You know, they get jumped straight into here, which is kind of fun. And there we have it. It's not really a good one. This is like the first level one. And I think it's like one of the first ones I ever made. So if you can find one of my newer military stations. I'm pretty certain. Yes, I have one down here. Yeah, this, is, this one is a little bit more upgraded. Just a little bit. But I, also, I can also make another one. Which is a lot more expensive. Uh, holy shit, the range on this, how far away I have to be from a station is pretty huge on this one. But as you can see, it has like four different arms on it, which is this one. It has two fighter hangers and a bunch of turrets. And there's a bunch of shields, armor, power plants, everything you need, basically. It is an extremely powerful tool. Oh yeah, here they are. Wait, the fuck is this? Oh, is this one of those fucking clouds? Oh shit, they are clouds. And they're hovering around the black hole. Yeah, it, it's just the whole... That's supposed to be a black hole. Black holes aren't usually that large, I would say. Oh shit, she, this person might actually die soon. Uh... Because your leaders, because of the amount of years here, will actually die. You know, sooner or later. Uh, let's actually try... I keep on... Oh, there it is. Leaders. Let's see. She ha At the age of 72, she gets starts getting an mortality rate. Which is like, ouch. We can lose them quickly. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Lost one. There goes another one. Oh god, they're just milling through them. Oh, halfway through that one. Sheesh. <laughs> it would help if they were much better at focus, fo focus fire. 
But your ships really are not that good at focus firing at all. I mean, at fucking all. I don't think I've had a single time where my ships were actually good at focus firing. Or, every now and again, maybe. But there should be some way of making them focus firing. There really should be. But I don't think there is. Yeah, come on, kill it, kill that at least. But now it's just the last one, which is also way stronger than me. Ouch, look at that. Again, focus firing would have killed a bunch of them. If they... Ha there should be something here that makes them focus fire. My enemies are focusing firing on me, but my ships are not. Which I don't know why. It might be something I missed, and if it is, I would be really happy to know. And yeah, and dead. Oh, someone was elected. I didn't see that, but okay. Oh, as you can see, I also missed like two researchers. Which is like, whatever, I'm not going to keep on playing on this save anyways. Ooh, I can uh, research nuclear missiles. And yes, as you can probably have guessed, what research you guess get is kinda random. You know, you get three new options. You can't actually follow down like a tree that you want to follow. You have to actually just choose out of these that are handed to you. And that's the dead. Oh no, the leader died. Let's see how much... I did do a lot of damage though. But since they can't focus fire for shit... Yeah, that kind of happened. <laughs> As you can see, a bunch of shit is ready to just do stuff here. Wait, did I actually make that military station? I did. I think. Yeah, here it is. A bunch of turrets, it has a couple of uh, crafts, yeah that's a bug. Sometimes if you have just had a fight in one sector and go to another one, you will still see you know, something happening there. Because this is the range of the station, it's pretty fucking huge. You know, this station can protect like, these two planets, you know. Some of the better places that had stations, it's like you find a God likes, uh, you know, like this one. S uh, for science and uh, alien pets. I was just like, fuck yeah, defense platform. <laughs> you know, some of these you really want to defend. You know, this one's pr also, you might probably want to defend. But other than that, yeah. Also, I would say listen to the tutorial when you just start and turn it off after not too long. Because the tutorial is annoying as fuck. It's just so annoying. I turned it off the second time I played, because after the second time it doesn't really tell you much. Oh, one last thing before I end, I almost forgot it. You got something called Frontier Outpost. You can see that this blue part is my, you know, space. And the Frontier Outpost will basically expand my space. You know, you know, your different um, settlements and colonies and such, and planets basically, will also expand that space, but this doesn't require you to make another planet, basically, or colonize another planet. But it costs, this one costs you, yeah, let's actually just check, uh, maintenance of two power and one uh, influence. Influence is kind of hard to get, so you are limited to amount of uh, frontier outposts you can have. And as you can see up here, you're kind of limited to the amount of planets you can have. But because of the democracy, you know, direct democracy that I'm using, I can actually control up to seven, which is a lot more than uh, if you did you know, one of the lower tier ones. But basically, yeah, I love this game. It's just good. It's just really good. And I hope to actually get, be able to play it with a couple of friends of mine to play multiplayer. Uh, however, that will work. Also, this game is supposed to have really good mod support. It's uh, at the very least they are promising it. But also I can end it on one little critique. This is the entire game's detail screen. 
nothing else. And of course, it's normal, hard, insane. Nothing else. Iron Man mode, you can't really save. Dead is dead. Only what FTLs? You know, for example, only if you want to only have hyperdrives, because then you can like fortify different sectors and such. You can do that. But I really want something here to turn off or turn on off maybe limits or you know make give you more of the anomalies, events. I want to be able to turn on and off dominations uh domination victory and Conquest victory. I think it was conquest. You know, one of them is controlling forty percent of all the planets, and one of them is killing everyone and controlling their planets. Uh, this one is also just like how strong do you want your enemies to be? You know, get they get an advanced start. This, this is basically for advanced players that are really good at the game. If not, they will expand as quickly as you. But really, though, I want more options. This is the every single option you get. When you're making, you know, four different types of galaxies, the spiral four arms, play. That's every single option you get, nothing else. i never actually seen a spiral galaxy before, so... Um... Okay. Oh, interesting. There's like, just a few spots in between. Jeez, seriously, again? I'm pretty certain I actually know what that is, but I wanna check it. I, I want to go up there and check. Fast. Let's just go faster, faster, faster. You know, I'm, I I think I'm actually going to play another game with the Hyperlanes soon. It's, it, oh, it's actually not... Uh, uh, fellow Wanderers Among the Stars. Okay, well, let's see. What ship is that? Oh, it's just the Space Amoeba. I've actually had a time where the Soul System spawned right next to me. You know, a, an extra soul system just spawned right next to me. Which is like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was identical, except like the planet had gone through a nuclear war. Which is like, ah, oh, so that w that's what happens when you don't choose humans. Yeah, as I, I love this game. It's so much fun. But it could always be better. It, don't take it as me hating it, because I love it. But the game could always be better. You know, give us more options. You know, this is all the options you get, like, here. Uh, wait, isn't there, like, a control? Maybe you have to change controls out in the launch window. But, you know, this is all the options here, and... Yeah, I'm... You don't need too many graphics options, but I would really want more game details. Please, give us more game details, or else it's just... Yeah. <laughs> I, I just really want more game details, and I think it would make the game a lot better. Because if you had more game details, you could actually modify it the way you want to play it. But I guess mods will do that for us soon enough, because they have a pretty good mod support, so... But, again, it was Stellaris. I really love it. I, I think you... If you... If it looks interesting, go buy it, it's pretty good. So thank you all for watching, I'll see you all in the next video.